In today's video, I wanted to show you how you can quickly download new material collections and other 3D assets inside of Cinema 4D using your Grayscale Gorilla Plus membership so that you can start using these amazing 3D assets in your next project right away. Now, these steps are the same whether you're a new Grayscale Gorilla Plus member or an existing member that just wants to download all the newly released collections. Oh, did I mention that we just added over 500 new assets? Well, let's go grab them. All right, first thing you need to do is make sure you have the Grayscale Gorilla Hub installed. If you haven't installed the Hub, we have a video all about that. You can click down below in the description. Once it's installed, you can click the Grayscale Gorilla menu to open up your Hub and manage your plugins and assets. This tab called Plugins is where you can download all Grayscale Gorilla plugins you want to install and use. And this tab called Stock Assets is where you download the 3D assets included with your Plus membership. You can filter by asset type or by renderer. Now I'm using all three renders here, so I'll click all three. And since we just released a bunch of new assets, let's go ahead and grab all of these. Next, let's click add to download. This will start the download process for all the collections you selected. Now, of course, your download time will vary depending on what collections you selected and your internet speed. Now here in the download queue, you're gonna see your download process. Once all the collections are downloaded, you'll be asked to click one more time to install these assets onto your system. Once you do that, you're all set. Your Grayscale Gorilla materials and assets are all ready to be dragged and dropped into your scene and used in your next award-winning render. All right, now that we have it all installed, let's use the Plus Library to add beautiful assets directly in our Cinema 4D scene. If you don't have the Plus Library docked in your layout, what are you doing? Just go on up here to your Grayscale Gorilla menu, click on the Plus Library, and you can dock it anywhere in your Cinema 4D interface. Next, you can filter by renderer. I'm using Redshift, but you can click here and see them all or just filter by the render you're using. On the left side, you'll find tabs to separate all these thousands of assets into different categories to make them easier to find. Got materials, of course, HDRIs, textures like surface imperfection, black and white maps. We have gobos, we have bokeh for lenses, user HDRIs that let you import your own HDRIs, and of course, models. With any of these tabs selected, you could click on all and then simply search for whatever you're looking for. For example, we could search for wood, metal, plastic, and you'll see anything that matches those terms show up here. You could even search for something that's new, like the new crater foam, just by typing in foam here in my search menu. You can see we have the new crater foams and even some of the styrofoams that came out in the last release. Now to use any of these assets, you could just simply drag and drop it right here in your object menu or in your viewport. For example, we could drag this crater foam right up and replace this wood texture just by dragging it up and replacing the wood icon right here in your object menu. And there we go, it's on our object. You could do this with anything here in the library. Let's try this styrofoam that I love so much. And again, we could just replace it right here in our object menu and it will update right away. Now you could also drag and drop directly in the viewport. Let's grab something else new like the embossed metals here. And let's grab this one and you can just simply drag and drop it right here in the viewport. But if your object is separated into different pieces, it'll only add the material to the one that you dragged it on top of. So be wary of that. For example, our shader ball has three different sections and it only added it to the center. Now you could also add a separate material to the top and bottom. So that's nice just by dragging and dropping. And now we have three different patterns and textures. And if we open up our object, you can see it's automatically added right here in the object menu. And of course, if you wanna change any of these, you could replace it here in the objects or you could simply delete it and it'll go back to the original material. Now searching is one way to use the library, but you could also go into each collection and see them separately. So for example, we could select composite wood, which is one of my favorite new collections. And from here, you could just do the same thing, drag it and drop it right here in your object menu or in the viewport. Or let's scroll down and find Paracord. This is one of my favorites from the last collection. I love this reddish orange kind of thing. I'm gonna replace this as well, right here on the shader ball and see what we get. Now this looks pretty good, but the scale is way too big. And with any of these materials, you could simply select your material, come down here and tile it higher or lower. I think we gotta crank this way up. Let's go six by six and see what we get. Maybe a little too big. Let's go by four by four. Ah, much better. All right, this looks great. There's thousands of materials to search and use in your next project, but let me show you models. So you can see in the models tab, you could still do the same thing with all in search, but you could also go into each collection like our new broadcast design models or even these happy toolbox models. These are awesome. Let's use one of these so you can see how easy it is to use these models. 
First thing I'll do is turn off the shader ball here. I'm also gonna open up my materials tag and drag in this oak veneer onto the floor. Next, let's go ahead and grab one of these cute little happy toolbox icons. I love this heart. And it comes in super teeny tiny because these were made for little toys, but it's easy to scale. If you just grab your place tool, grab this little top nub here and scale it up, we got a big old heart. Now, because these models are made to use with MoGraph, you can see they're low poly by default, but it's really easy to add extra geometry. You just hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and click this button right here in your interface. It's gonna add a subdivision surface to your scene and it's gonna put the model under it and you can see how much rounder and nicer it is here in the viewport. All right, this thing's missing materials. Let's go into our materials, click on all and search for leather. We have a ton of beautiful leathers here, including these new ones. Let's go ahead and grab a red leather. It's a heart. I think it'll work great. Add it onto our subdivision surface and bam, we got our scene ready to go. Now these are just quick examples to get you going, but there are literally millions of ways to combine all this stuff to help you create exactly what you need in your next scene. All in one place so you don't have to worry about it. Search for what you need and grab it. And of course, we're adding new stuff to the library all the time. And we love seeing all the stuff our customers are making with these tools. So if you've made something beautiful that you're proud of, hit us up on Instagram or on Twitter using the hashtag MadeWithGSG. Thanks again for watching. And if you're a new member, thank you so much for joining Grayscale Gorilla Plus. And if you've been with us for a while, stay tuned. We are just getting started. Happy rendering.